Hey everyone, Arnold Wafferman here, and by request, we're going to go to talk about the matrix wall. Now, some of you saw the real cool matrix wall that I made with the 20 ADJ Mega Tripod profiles. I'm going to go to show you the process that I did to create this, and hopefully, this helps you as well. Now, you will notice that I already have some Mega Tripod profiles already here, and I have some lights, etc., back and forth, but I want to import uh, 20 different new lights that we'll be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on page and then new page. We're going to go to American DJ. And I want to say it's in the Mega series. Now, of course, you can do this with any particular light that, you know, has LED color mixing. Let's see. So we have Mega Tripod Profile and Mode 7 gives me my 7 channel mode. I'm going to put it on my second DMX universe. Remember that if you are using the CompuQ base Basic, you can only do one DMX universe. I'm using SDE, which gives me three physical universes for Artnet. There's also the original SD and then the SD Plus which gives you three physical and a theoretical unlimited which is fantastic but regardless we're gonna go to DMX Universe 2 and I'm gonna do 20 fixtures because that's how many tripars I have for this particular project okay and we are done let's click on next 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 and we're going to call this wall tripar because these tripars were specifically programmed to be part of the matrix wall. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to click on that one. I'm going to disable the show master only. So it's going to show me all those right there. Perfect. Now I have an option. I can go ahead and design this, all the programs in the wall tripar, or I can design it on my master page. I wanted to make all my programs to stay in a wall tripar versus my master page. So let's go ahead and kind of put these together. We have one, two, three, four. We're going to go ahead and move it. So we're going to click on the move option and then just kind of move them right there. Of course, you can grab multiple ones if you wish. And you'll notice when we mass over, we have address 1, address 8, address 15, and so forth, all the way to address 134. Pretty simple. Now we're going to go ahead and go to Layers. And I really don't need all this stuff here because I'm not going to use any of that. So I'm just going to make a new layer, and I would like my strobe to be there. I would like my shutter to be there, and I would like my dimmer to be there. And I'm going to make a new program, and it's going to be called Wall Scenes, or whatever you want to name it. We're going to make a new zone. We're going to call it Color Mix, and we're going to click on the gear icon, and we're going to choose Color Mixing. There we go. All right, so we have the color mix. I'm going to move it over here. So now we have something that's really nice and organized. Okay, so now the wall scenes. I'm going to go ahead and go to button, and we're going to do a new switch or a new scene, whatever you prefer. I'm going to do a new scene, and we're going to make sure that it's empty. We're just going to we're just going to leave it called scene for now, and it's going to be in the button layer that says wall scenes. We're going to do OK and edit. Okay, so you can't just grab these fixtures like they are because it's going to control each fixture individually. What you want to do is you want to tell CompuShow, hey, I want you to take all these lights and make them into one big giant light. And CompuShow is going to say, I got this, bro, no problem. So for that, we're going to go to Groups Rect. You're going to notice that it's completely empty. We're going to go ahead and click plus, and that's going to add a new group. And we're literally just going to kind of color over that. Okay, now you'll notice that it's not perfect. So, of course, we can modify it as we need to, and that's by clicking the little gear icon. We're just going to move it, and we want it to be shaped perfectly around our fixture. Now, all the fixtures don't have to be right next to each other. If you're going to group your lights around, let's say, a truss arch, then you design it in an arch around, and then you can do your rect around it, whatever you choose. My point is, is it's pretty easy there. So now we have the group rect. I'm going to right click and rename it and we're going to call it tripar wall. You can have multiple group recs as well even if you move your lights around or whatnot. Just make sure you move them back or it's not going to grab them properly. So I'm going to click on easy time and then I want to undo the edit option. 
so that way I can take the entire tripod wall and drag it over here. You'll notice that while I'm under group, groups rect mode, it shows the tripod wall, all these 20 tripod uplights, or whatever number you choose is one fixture. But yet if I go to individual fixtures, it separates each one. You don't want to go there. That'll mess up your show. Uh, now, of this, at this point, you can choose plenty of effects, and let's go over each one, or at least a couple of them. We'll first start with color. I'm going to take that, drag it over here, and we're going to go to Chaser, and then just for added effect, instead of baby blue, we'll do white. Right, and uh, I can just go over here and do 255, punch in the exact value, which is great. You know, I could also use palettes as well, but we'll do that for now. And it usually lets me preview depending on, oops, while I'm over here, it kind of gives you a preview of what it's going to do. All right, of course, you can add numbers or modify whatever you need to. We're just going to click OK and save it. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this now that I know what show I'm going to do with this. It's going to be called Blue White Diagonal. I'm going to turn it on here. Now, it looks pinkish, but it's not pink. It's white. It's just the way that for some reason the colors render because the profile is messed up. But it kind of gives you that, of course. I can speed it up. I can slow it down. But then what's really cool is I can also phase it. And now it gives me different kind of patterns that are built into there. So let's continue on, right? So again, new switch or new scene. We'll call it scene. We're going to have it empty. And we're going to OK plus edit. We're going to go to groups rect, drag that over. So now you have all your different chases you can do with your colors. Then you have your matrix effect. When you click on that, these are effects that are specifically made for your matrix. So let's say, for example, we do a circle effect. You can choose however many colors you want. Uh, let's say that I wanted to go crazy and just do like a rainbow effect. But I want the last color to be a solid white or at least whiter than your built in here that we have. There we go. And maybe instead of this funky green color, we want to do just a red right in the middle. Okay. And again, we'll speed it up a bit. Save it. Now there you go. So I'm going to again right click, rename it, and we're going to call it Rainbow Circle. We can speed it up. We can slow it down. We can also apply the strobe effect to it as well, which doesn't show on the live preview here, but of course your lights would actually strobe. You can also do a shutter chase, which look really cool. It shows you right there. Again, lots of fun things you can do. Next one is picture. And picture is pretty obvious. You can load a picture. If you're only doing 20 tripods or at 20 of any kind of light, I can't tell you how good that's going to look. But if you're doing 80, 100 of them, oh, you can do some crazy stuff with that. Uh, same thing with the GIF, uh, GIF, whatever you used to pronounce it. Video, you can load your own in there. So if you find some low-res clips, you can do some great stuff with it. Uh, text, if you have tons of them, you can do some cool text with it. And then, of course, my favorite is Color Manager. This allows you to literally paint what you want your lights to look like. So let's say, for example, we're going to be doing a school and it's called Blah Blah Middle School. And Blah Blah's Middle School's colors are an awesome green and red. So we're going to make a, a bright green in the background. Maybe that's a little bit too bright. So we're going to do a, like a nice dark red, right? Look at that. And we're going to do a bright colored green. And I'm just literally going to paint. Okay. We're going to call the school Mount Blah Blah. We're in Florida. We have quite a few schools that are called Lake or Mount or something. And then just like easy time, I'm going to add a new step. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and sample the color. Then go back again here. And now we're going to go back to that green that we had. So here we go. So we have B, 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 B. So you can do that. So we just go here. Turn on the shutter, turn on the dimmer. And there it goes. We're going to do a matrix effect, or a matrix one. So we'll just choose rain. We're going to do black. And then here we're going to do... Uh, like a light green color there. And
Oh, we want a full demo. So again, it's great because it gives me ultimate control. I can also map it to my master color, whatever you want to do. But either way, that's how you do a matrix. Remember, the matrix can be in any shape you want. You can even do it across your entire room setup. So you can do this with uplighting as well. And I've actually done that with uplighting. It makes things really easy so you can draw different sections of the room or whatnot. So again, that's the CompuShow tutorial for today. Thank you so much. Now, remember, if you have any questions or something you'd like to see done with CompuShow, hit me up. That's what I'm here for. Leave a comment down below, you know, right below and right above. You can click like and subscribe and show some love. Share this video. Tell your friends about it. Thank you all so much. Good night and God bless.